So this time the projects that you have is there any any good project among them that you really like Hi good afternoon how are you Good afternoon sir then how are you I'm great too thank you for asking So oh, we are meeting for the first time right Yeah Yes, so I'm Sonali, and I'm joining you from Kolkata, West Bengal, and I'll be a speaker for this session. Okay, that's good. I'm let you right. know about myself. I'm Arunthati Dokhtama, and I come from the city of Pillai in the state of Chhattisgarh. Mm-hmm. I am 14 years old, and I studied ninth grade as well. Okay, that's nice. Honestly, I have seen you. I have, you know, seen your videos on YouTube. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, finally meeting you. That's nice. I have even, you know, remember your background. There are a lot of books, there's a shelf, right? A bookshelf. Yeah, I have seen that in a couple of videos. Yes. So, yeah. So, I've been here for a while now. This is your 133rd session. Yeah. It's been like one and a half years now. Nice. And how has your experience been? And I'm sure everybody asks you that. Yes. <laughs> has it gotten annoying at this point? Oh, answering no. that question. And I love this question because it's such a nice question. I love answering. <laughs> okay. Then please go ahead. I would like to know how your experience has been. Okay. So my experience has been really good. I would say because earlier when I look back to my videos, my recordings, I see that I was very nervous and I was. Yes. I'm like shy to speak out and speak up and I think now that has improved a lot I have gained a lot of confidence and my speaking skills have improved a lot and also uh speaking on a particular topic I have gotten better at that okay that's amazing and honestly I never found you shy to be honest but yeah that would be your journey and you would know best you know the transformation that has come around okay i'm curious about one more thing about your you know name spelling like i see two r's two i's and two k's like is that how you spell your name i yeah that is how i spell my name <laughs> it's it's kind of a must say but my mom told me that i should spell my name like that i think she is inclined towards like this occult science called numerology and i think this right. is related to that and she told okay. me so and i have to do it my mom's it's my mom's orders okay right so did this is this how your name was uh, uh, registered in your like birth certificate or did this happen later on in your life this happened later on in my life okay and do you get this question about your name spelling uh, not often it's kind of rare <laughs> Is it okay? Like that's the first thing I noticed because, like I said, when I saw your name, I thought, "Oh, she's here." And then I—that's the second thing I noticed was the spelling. That it's a very unique spelling. <laughs> okay. So, did you see what today's topic is? Is it sleep? <laughs> it is sleep. It is sleep. So, do you want to talk about it? Yeah, we can go for it. Okay. So yeah, you you're in school. So what's your relationship with sleep like? When you go to sleep, what's your routine like? What's your sleep sleep schedule like? So uh, during my school days, I I go to bed around like ten thirty or eleven p.m. and I have okay. to wake up at six a.m. because my school starts very early, like around seven a.m. So after okay. I have to wake up early. So that is my usual sleep sleep. It's schedule for school days, but mm-hmm. no vacations are going on, and my sleep schedule is totally messed up. So, <laughs> okay, one a.m. and I wake up at nine a.m. Okay, and what do you do? You know, when you wake up that, when you stay awake that day. Hmm. So I, I do my vacation homework. That that's quite. Okay. Up. So I think of it that I keep on doing my vacation homework at one a.m. at night. That's so outrageous, and you know I wake up late. That's why yeah. I don't sleepy at night. So I just think mm. of little productive at that time. Right, right. So like it's like a cycle, right? When you just start, when you you, get, yeah. you just get stuck into that. You can't. It's very difficult to change it. Yes. Okay. So how much homework have you been assigned? Why is it like? Why do you have to do it at night? Like, 
what are they doing you what are they giving you <laughs> oh my god it, uh, our school has given us an awful lot of homework in okay. one of our books we have to uh, make a whole like, minimum six page project file about like effects of boiling on impurities in like cold what? water it's so <laughs> it's so such an awful topic you know <laughs> Because so I can write about it in like one paragraph, and that's it. That will exactly think about it. But I have to write a minimum six pages. How am I going to do it? Okay, so let me guess. The board of your school is it ICSE? No, it's CBSC. <laughs> okay, yeah. now I'm truly surprised because generally ICSE are the crazy ones when it comes to projects. But okay, CBSC is catching up, right? Yeah, and That's... talking about projects, a uh, one year when I was in I think sixth grade, I got a project mm-hmm. which we had to make a newspaper for cavemen. What? <laughs> How is that going to help you learn in any way? Like, okay, yeah. what happened with that project? What was it like for you? And what did you gain out of that experience? Um, nothing because COVID came and <laughs> just some oh, Okay. So you did know, you? So you never? Mm-hmm. Yeah. we were very lucky because we didn't have to do anything for that project right what was even the aim the objective behind that making that project what did the teacher intend to you know make you understand by by that project i think what it was think? like evolution of human beings like you know when you're making a newspaper for cavemen then uh, you talk about the events that happened during the caveman era like make in yeah. meals or like uh, making of crops and all of that and when discovery of fire and all of that yeah okay. that about that in the newspaper and even then it's just such a weird project <laughs> yes glad that you know you didn't have to actually undergo through that entire experience mm-hmm. so this time the project that you have is there any any good project among that that you really like mm, or... good project there are a few easy projects like one project is like our ai project and in that we have to write a letter for future self and that is nice. like uh, the, the thing is that you have to write the letter from like an ai aspect but the thing oh. is that it's very easy because we have already got a format for it and we just have to like change our names date and all of that our personal okay. thing, and that's it that's very that's a very easy project okay so yeah yeah that you'll get done and which is the longest project the most time taking one hmm, this chemistry one the boiling effects project the <laughs> project okay and where are you gathering all the information from Go, what is your source google go to for everything right okay and how do you generally spend time during your vacations apart from projects if you get any time that is hmm. so we have a few exams after i after our schools opens open up okay. and okay. prepare for that it's like a history exam and street test is like a sessional test one for economics and one for mm-hmm. so we have three subjects that we have to study for so i try to study for that okay do you get any time for any fun activities during the vacations yeah i do have some time and i love to play the piano so i have a keyboard okay. that I play that when when i have free time okay that's nice and when your school is open do you get the time to play the piano yeah but not much because right now i have the whole day free i don't have to go to school mm-hmm. just have to right. sit up and do vacation homework so i have a lot of time but in school days you have to go to school so the time like reduces a bit right right do you enjoy going to school though yes i love it i love <laughs> my friends and like studying at school it's nice okay and like which is the best part about your entire day at school hmm, the best part i think it would be uh, the extra curricular classes like art okay. class physical education class the computer mm-hmm. class, gk class i love gk class even though we don't okay. study all we just discuss random things that are mm-hmm. happening the world but i loved the gk class okay and how do you where do you get all your information like you keep you try to keep yourself updated on gk 
I mean, I try to, but I just, I start reading a newspaper like once and then the next day, I just totally forget that task. I just, <laughs> that. oh my God. Yeah, I still struggle with reading the newspaper. It's been years, like years at this point. And uh, it's very difficult being consistent while reading the newspaper. I don't know. Like, I think if I had started at your age, actually I did. But like you said, I even I could never be consistent with it. Yeah. yeah someday I hopefully will be. <laughs> okay, so coming back to the topic, sleep. So, you know, now you have a school, uh, you, you are in school, so you have to wake up at a certain time. If school was not there, or maybe like later on when school will not be there, what do you think your ideal sleep schedule will look like? Okay. How would you want it to be? Yeah. I, w- I would want it to like, sleep at a normal time at night and wake up a little early. Like sleep at like 10 p.m. and then wake up around like 6. That is a good okay. schedule, I must say. Because if you wake up early, you can just like uh, do some yoga or meditation or exercise mm-hmm. before you do your work. I think that's a good sleep schedule. That's nice. When I was your age, I just wanted to sleep late at night because, you know, there was always this compulsion that you have to sleep at night. So when I went to college, when I moved out of my house and... When I lived in hostel, I took the complete liberty of waking, of staying awake late and then waking up late. And oh, I love that for a while, but it's not good for your health. So, yeah. And I also love sleeping early because if you sleep early, uh, then you, ha- you get more time of sleep. Right? So, I love I And I think there's a significant difference in the quality of sleep that you get if you sleep on let's say 10 o'clock and get eight hours of sleep versus when you say you sleep at one o'clock in the morning one or two o'clock in the morning and then you get eight hours of sleep there's a significant difference Mm. do you feel that i mean i can totally understand that well i do i don't know why does that happen maybe it's like some psychological thing i don't know that but still it's they both are just totally different Right, 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 exactly. My mother always used to say, uh, tell me that even now she tells me that there's this sleep bus mm. that leaves the station at around, what, one o'clock. And if you don't catch that bus, you know, that catch that bus, then your the, the quality of sleep reduces significantly. And I have experienced that. Yeah. I'm so happy and just feel, makes me feel warm that even as such a young like woman not woman young girl what should i say young kid i feel kid is you know do you okay deviating from the topic do you like being addressed as a kid as a child like yeah i'm totally all right with it yeah okay. child, all right child, technically yes but you know i don't know at times children they don't say that okay i'm not a kid you know kids are the ones who are kids are the ones who are at one or class grade one or two I mean, I, I, anyway, maybe i'm overthinking this you know i'm just relating everything to how i used to be because i always thought i'm i'm very mature you know like i know everything i figured it all out but yeah that does not, not happen anyway uh, yeah what was i saying i forgot me by saying uh, sleep. Yes, I mean, <laughs> I mean, what part about it? But anyway, yeah, I was. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying that I'm glad that you still want to, you know, maintain the sleep schedule. It's very healthy for you. And do you practice yoga or meditation that you mentioned? I try to, but I do it one day and then the next day, forgotten it, left it. Okay, but it's a good thing that you have already introduced these things in your life. Mm. Okay, so how, since when have you started practicing these things and how did you get introduced to it? Okay, so I did them in the pandemic when both okay. my parents used to be at home for most of the time and we right. like to do a little bit of yoga and meditate. And I think that said during the pandemic, that was the only part where I did yoga, even like a little bit consistently, like uh, uh-huh. so thrice in a week. But after the okay. pandemic, lockdown it was all Mm -hmm. gone right when the when life the regular life started happening again right did you what was the pandemic like for you what Mm -hmm. was the experience like the lockdown experience as a child who went to school yeah so we had online classes all the time we started at 7 a.m then went Mm -hmm. up to 1 p.m and i think that was the main part of the whole 
lockdown and the thing is that during that period of time we used to get a lot of homework because teachers used to think that we are just at home all day long. all you have to do is yeah. study homework. so right. a lot of homework in that and you know it, it was very nice during the lockdown i mean it, it was not okay. the covid <laughs> But yeah, yeah, yeah. Time, you know, like I could spend a lot of time doing some curricular activities. I could mm-hmm. like, explore my skills and hobbies and all of that. So it was nice. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed that phase because a lot of people did not. Yeah. So, okay. I think our time is about to end for this session. So it was <laughs> lovely finally talking to you. I was just, you know, it's like a fan moment. I've watched your videos, but I finally got to talk to you. You see, it was amazing. Feel for a long time, but I couldn't get your sessions because those oh. things were booked. But finally, I got it. <laughs> yes, I had an amazing time. Thank you so much.